the Airbus A380 joined the Hi Fly fleet in 2018. Hi Fly was the fourth European airline and the 14th global operator to fly this magnificent aircraft. Becoming also the first wet leasing airline to fly the A380 and inaugurating its second hand market. The iconic model aligned perfectly with the company's concern for sustainability, carrying more people with less impact on the environment. Combining mass passenger transport with efficient technologies, resulting in a lower carbon footprint per passenger and per kilometre. The Highfly A380 supported the Murpuri Foundation's Save the Coral Reefs campaign and carried the message across the five continents, raising awareness for an unprecedented fight to stop the destruction of our oceans. As for the livery, one side, in dark blue, displays destroyed coral. The other side, in contrast, in light blue, represents a pristine ocean with images of colourful and healthy marine life. This campaign was also showcased to more than 400,000 visitors at the famous Farnborough Air Show 2018 and the Paris Air Show 2019. The Save the Coral Reefs A380 is a record breaker. It was the first A380 to connect London to New York. It operated the longest non-stop domestic flight in the world from Saint-Denis in Réunion to Paris. Its marketing campaign received a double award from the magazine Global Transport Finance. It was the first to land in Wuhan, China, following the coronavirus outbreak. It completed an around-the-world humanitarian mission, which lasted four days, starting and ending in Beja, Portugal, covering 31,047 kilometers in a flight time of 33 hours and 45 minutes, with stops in Changjin and Santo Domingo. Highfly's A380 was the first to be converted to a cargo version, removing economy seats to meet the high volume demands during the COVID-19 crisis. It was able to carry 68 tons of cargo and offered 340 cubic meters of volume capacity. Plus, it could fly directly for over 17 hours. This combination of volume, payload and range made it unique for cargo transportation. The aircraft made a spectacular flyby over Lisbon Airport and also the Algarve, where locals and beach vacationers were able to spot the king of the skies, drawing attention to its environmental message. The Save the Coral Reefs A380 was one of the most photographed and loved aircraft by spotters all over the world and was the first to land in Beja, Oslo, Réunion, Dakar, Antananarivo, Cairo, Caracas, Buenos Aires, Dalaman, Enfida, Las Palmas and Santo Domingo. At the service of High Fly, the aircraft visited 53 different airports in 33 countries and four continents. Of the 15 current A380 operators in the world, High Fly was the first airline in Europe and the second worldwide in the number of landing destinations. This accomplishment was achieved in only two years. Highfly A380 had great media exposure due to its outstanding achievements, making it the perfect platform for the Murpuri Foundation's Save the Coral Reefs campaign. The Save the Coral Reefs campaign will not stop. With 50% of the world's coral already gone, action needs to be taken immediately. Coral reefs are one of the world's most colourful, biodiverse and beautiful ecosystems. Do we want to continue to be a threat to them, or should we start saving them? 
It's Not Too Late for Coral Reefs or Coral Reefs Gone by 2050. Which side are you on?